you've heard me on all the issues that have come before us that affect small businesses and how I feel. I was very emotional Saturday. I'm not going to be that emotional tonight because, to be honest, it's not going to make any difference. We are looking at a budget, a legislative session that has put a huge burden, not only on our small businesses, but our nonprofit sector. I went back and looked at the public hearing testimony on issues like the $15 minimum wage, the paid family and medical leave, the sexual harassment and, and sexual assault bill. And all of the nonprofits said, hey guys, hang on. This is really going to present a burden for us. Were they human services? Were they YWCAs? Were they daycare? You name it. They said, this is going to be hard for us. So you as a state, you have to help us deal with this burden. I remember in the debate on the paid family and medical leave, or no, $15 minimum wage, asking the good chair of labor what the response from the nonprofits had been. Well, it's going to be a challenge, but they'll make do the way all families do. We're asking them to find a 25% cut in their budgets over the next 16 months. We're asking small businesses to face a burden, albeit worthy, while they're doing their darndest to just stay alive. I look at my town, young women and young men, like Josh Hadursky and Kyle Liddick. One bought a butcher shop. One has expanded his antiques business. We're making it hard for them. We, we passed great bills to help our brewers and cideries. So we, but at the same time, we're asking them to take up additional burdens all great ideas, but all treating every business in the state as if they have unlimited resources and HR departments and compliance departments and legal departments. So yes, there are good things in this budget, but I think the things that we have done in this budget and outside this budget put too much of a burden on the 340,000 businesses in Connecticut that supply 80% of the jobs, and the nonprofits that every day serve the most vulnerable, the most needy, the people we should be taking care of. So I thank you for your attention, Mr. Speaker, and unfortunately I'm not able to support this budget. Thank you.